Previously on Xenoblade Chronicles. Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. <laughs> oh my god. Dump has the fucking fest. Oh, oh, that was a good one. You know what? You're playing you're playing my game and I love it. I'll take mine to go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's enough done, man. And now, back to El Monado. Hello! Sneaky B, back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles. We last left off, we visited the city of the High Entia. Oh, come on. It was revealed that Melia was also a High Entia, except her, little, her wings are a little smaller, because I believe it, she's, uh... Well, they haven't really totally said it out right yet, but they are making... It clear she's not a pure blood uh, high entia. So I'm guessing part Homs, part uh, high entia. That's why her wings are a bit smaller than everybody else's, and why the uh, first consort is not too crazy about her. And now she's going to take undertake a uh, some kind of trial to prove her worth. But it looks like uh, the first consort and her group are going to make sure she fucking loses. So, but not on Daddy Dunban's watch. Anyway, I went ahead and did. Uh, a whole bunch of the generic side quests, just just the generic ones, like go kill this thing, go collect this thing off screen. I did, I think, almost all of them for uh, Alchemoth and also uh, the ones I had remaining from uh, Frontier Village. So, yeah, so now I don't have too many. I have uh, this one, collect quest two, because I have to get some things from the High Entia Tomb and the same for this one, Spiral Lamps. But other than that, uh, yeah, pretty much all that's done. Um, I haven't uh, started any new quests. I haven't uh, completed any of the uh, uh, not generic quests from like named NPCs. I just did all the all the other ones because that's how you get to the good stuff. You know, I gotta kind of get past the uh, the entry barrier, I suppose. Anyway, you guys uh, did tell me apparently all the the quests that I receive in Alchemoth are timed. But fortunately, I don't have to worry too much about it for a while. Like the the timer doesn't run out for uh, a good good while, according to you guys. So okay, that's good. <laughs> also, you told me something very interesting. So it turns out if I'd actually fought that fight with the assassins with Shulk in it, uh, he only would have dealt one damage to them because they were humans, and the Monado can't uh, harm humans. Oh man! <laughs> well, dodged a bullet there. That's clever, though. That's a nice bit of detail. Like that. I feel like they could have easily overlooked. All right, let's go save our girl Melia. Ready to get her back anyway. Back into our party. Oh yes, and also you guys told me apparently uh, we're, we are at or nearing the halfway this point the of the game. So damn, really? Fuck, are we like halfway through this let's play already? <laughs> or maybe it's just like halfway of the main story, but uh, so damn, looks like I'm making a good pace. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. My visions help to protect the Empire. But you're a Homs. Yes. But that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained. And my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. Is it not the same for you? No. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. Oh. I still have not seen any danger befall Her Highness. Not much use as a seer then, are you? <laughs> Nothing passes you by, does it? Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether, control the ether, and your will is made reality. I willed it, and it happened. Some foreboding setting music. That is all. Perhaps due to that power, the High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. 
a coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself, for you are the one who wields the Monado. The Bionis is stirring. Control the very fabric of fucking existence. Well, that sounds pretty cool. So, like, I could make myself a really delicious sandwich with the sword. I, well, maybe? The ancestral altar lies deep beneath the seals. What trials await me, I wonder? I must not lose focus. I should be switching to her. Come on, there's no way, right? Are we fighting some dudes? Oh my god, I am! Better not make me fight some strong ass dudes, alright? I'm only one little girl! Okay, good. I'm glad she at least leveled up alongside my party there. Uh, even out of. Not even when she wasn't with us. Also, I got some new staffs that are. Yeah, a little bit better. Oh, by the way, you guys also told me something uh, kind of funky. So, so apparently there's a glitch in this game that makes it so that your damage never does more than the minimum amount of damage you do plus 99 unless you get a critical hit so that maximum amount of damage it really doesn't mean much of anything seriously man that sucks that's <laughs> that's a pretty fucking glaring glitch I'm surprised it was ever was it ever fixed although well did we did the we have patches like did they like add patches to games i I'm not really sure. M maybe they didn't. <laughs> Man, that's why uh, Brawl stayed so broken forever. Meta Knight! <laughs> the god of this world! Damn, that, that does blow. I don't know if there was anything in the... Uh, I mean, all I did was add high definition stuff. I I don't know if there'd be like a, a fix for the emulation for that. Maybe. But then I'd sort of have to worry if that would uh, clash at all with anything else I have here. But... I don't know, I might have to, might have to look into that or something. That's, that does kind of suck. Apparently, you can sort of uh, get around this by adding attack stability gems, which does increase the minimum amount that you your uh, weapon uh, does. It can help a bit with that. Okay, well, well, it's all right. right. For right now, I'm already... I'm a pretty high level, so I don't think I probably have to worry about anything for a while. Worry about that too much. I'm also rich as shit from doing all those goddamn quests. Look how much money I've got. 800,000 G, yeah! That's right! I can't take the mask off. At some point, I feel like it's gonna be like some dramatic thing where we see like her wings, I I, I bet. Cause I still haven't been able to remove this damn hat. Got some cool trunks here. Oh, hello! That's a little revealing, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit better. Don't want you running around naked, Melia. All right, that looks good. Oh wait, before I do that, I also need to use the, the books that I bought for her to extend her skills even further. Actually, imagine she probably learned some stuff too while I was busy leveling up. Ah, uh, yes, sirree. Mine. Oh wait, this is the the other skill I learned in the store. It releases internal strength to seal enemy arts. Mind blast removes auras. Okay, so yeah, you guys had mentioned before how apparently this move acts just like uh, the Monado's ability to remove uh, auras. Oh yeah, I learned this new, this one now too. Uh, summon copy. Resummon the last summon elemental. Uh oh. It's actually, I was like, is that useful? Actually, it is kind of useful because then it, it means I could, I could use like lightning and then use that again to do lightning again without having to wait for lightning to finish the cooldown. Summon wind. Wind increases agility. Discharge inflicts area damage. Cool. All right. Ooh, I'm going to have to make a decision here. I think I'm going to have all of those elementals on there and the, uh, the summon copy. And just take the, I don't know, should I keep the sleep one on there or give her this one? And actually... Not the sleep, because once I attack them, they wake up anyway. That'd be good for uh, people like Dunban. Upgrading this one just decreases its cooldown. Hey, all right, she's already almost reached the, her bottom one too. Playing with poison extends poison duration when dealt to an enemy. She actually she doesn't currently have a poison move, I don't think. Or maybe she will get one. That'll be useful for uh, uh, R uh, Ricky though. Increases strength during the night. Prevents the reduction of accuracy when touching falls. Grants immunity to ether down debuff. All right, let's go. Sealed chamber. Two thousand five hundred and twelve cycles since last visitor. State your name and purpose. 
Uh, it's been a while. Antiqua. I think. I have come to be judged on my legitimacy to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. Access granted. How are we gonna get in, I wonder? Ah, oh, we were just, just mister! It's so cold. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited- Well, what does this do? Don't touch- <laughs> <laughs> huh? Ryan pulling a DD. What does this button do? <laughs> Ricky, you managed to fly for a second. Ricky, gonna die! <laughs> oh my god. Ryan, you big dumb dork. Oh boy. Deal damage by firing elementals. Melia may is alone in the tomb. It might be best for her to fire elementals after summoning them to deal damage rather than using them to grant buffs herself. However, when taking on multiple enemies at once, try to sleep on some enemies to make the fight easier. Take care not to awaken sleeping monsters with area effect arts like summon flare. <laughs> okay, well in that case, I better put sleep back on then. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Hall of Spirits. So these are the things that... Di aren't these the things that attacked us back when we uh, exited Tefra Cave? Like just before Colony and I got attacked? Hypnosis. Go to sleep, dummy! Do robots sleep? I, I, I don't Water, know. The source of all life. Water, the source of all life! Burn! Summon Vault! Vault. Oh my god, that damage! Fuck you. oh my god! That lightning power! That's right, I don't need a whole party! I can do this shit all by, by myself! Hall of Trials. <laughs> we have a heart to heart in the Hall of Trials? <laughs> Well, I guess it means somebody else is going to be able to get in here at some point. Well, hello, hello there, Hover Astas. Now you shall witness our power. Ah, bro. Summon Bolt. <laughs> Summon Aqua. Summon Flare. Summon Stop. Manifest yourself. I see Burn. The Building within me. Roaring Thunder! Manifest yourself. Is this Bruh. <laughs> Wait, did I even do anything? Oh, was, uh, did he die from the burn? I was like, I didn't even attack him again yet. It's like, screw this, I'm out. Ah, hey, we got a new, uh, new weapon here, which is even better. Daze up. Increases the damage dealt to enemies suffering from daze. Uh, well, actually, no, I guess it really isn't, because, like you guys said, apparently, it's only the minimum damage that I really should be looking at here. So, 459 versus 429, and I only have, well, a slot that's already used, and the slot's not that good, so. Oh, hey! That's better, though! Night Glow Staff. Ceremony Hall. Did I reach the end already? You have done well, my descendant. Descendant? Are you the progenitor of Antiqua? Think of me as a recreation of said ancestor, possessing his thoughts and speech. But he passed away thousands of years ago. 
not mistake me for a living being. I am a replica of your ancestor. I am merely a projection of what he would be if you were to meet him now. Okay. I do not understand. But I do not suspect any falsehood in your words. It is beyond doubt. If I could feel, I would feel joy. But I am a heartless machine. But I do not lie. Joy? What do you mean? The results of the gene analysis show Holmes gene integration of 80%. Estimates suggest evolution within eight generations. Our wishes are almost fulfilled. Wishes? Our purpose, as decreed by the Biolis, is linked to our genetic sequence. We have spent millennia analyzing sequences to free ourselves from the curse. Only a certain gene set will unlock the mechanism and set us free. I still do not understand. Me neither. No consequence. I grant you this seal. The hell are you talking about? Hal? Open the fucking door, Hal! It is you who will rule the High Entia, and likely be their last. Oh. Revealed ancestor, I. That doesn't sound good. And rule, my descendant. <laughs> good news, you can. You're gonna be the ruler. Bad news is you're gonna be the last one. <laughs> Your entire race is about to die. So the spirits look favorably upon you. <gasps> ah. Explain yourself. Only Imperials are permitted to enter this place. I am the subject of Her Highness the First Consort. I need no permission. Mother's subject? No impure child of the second consort has the right to refer to the first consort as mother. I. <laughs> Way to give away your allegiances right from the start, lady. The Hom's half breed has no right to the throne. Well, you just fuck right off, you know. It is your choice to make Tyria! Kick her ass, Melia. Set her on fucking fire. Now, let's just switch to these guys. <sighs> Oopsie doodle. A great big hole somewhere like that. As I explained, it's a defense mechanism. What a mess, Ryan. <laughs> not clever touching button. Way to go, Ryan. <sighs> I'm with these guys, Ryan. Don't do How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? What about your visions, eh? You think the two of you could come up with something? You know it doesn't work like that. It would have been useful, yes. <laughs> They're a fortune-telling frauds. You got us into this mess. And it's not the first time either. Hmm, Ricky, agree with Shulk. Why is it my fault all of a sudden? Because you pushed the button, stupid! This time it is your fault. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> well... Um... Be thankful that we are all alive. I suggest greater care next time. Our journey will be longer, but we can still make our way deeper into the tomb. Okay. We can't waste another second. Melia needs us. <laughs> next time I'm leaving you at home, Ryan. Oh. Oh, now I'm just controlling Shulk. So like, fuck you. Shulk's the real main character. Where the hell am I now? Uh, Tomb Robber Pool. Uh, what's behind me? A blue ladybird. Oh, hello. Oh! Collected the five green diodes. Let's get them to Naroth for decipher the deciphering machine. Okay. Well, hello there, friend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you for no reason. Oh god! I'm gonna go ahead and just destroy my system here. Man, what a bunch of jokers! What a bunch of bonnets! All right, I'm feeling pretty strong. Gotta say. <laughs> Stop in the name. Oh wow, wow, level 43. Never mind. Okay, bye. <laughs> I like it. They, they, they come down. They're like, wait, nope, never mind. 
Bah! Holy mother of fuck. Oh, okay, I can actually jump to the bottom. But we've got items along the way. And I might be able to find the thing that I need. Oh, shit. Hey, there it is. Spiral lamp. All right, this leaves the other one, which was it again? Collect three Andos antennae from Andos in High Into Tomb. Okay, a good reason not to uh, avoid all the monsters. This does seem like a rather large area, doesn't it? Oh, we're almost there. But that's not an Andos, that's an Astas. Are there red ones red? Oh, there you go. I didn't see you little guys stuck in your your little nooks. <laughs> I love, I love uh, Ryan's big pants here. <laughs> Ryan extra thick. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> he looks so funny. He looks so disproportionate. The like I've been eating one too many donuts lately. Oh, there's one. <laughs> here, we've got a room with a pool for some reason. All right, number two. Ah, number three, all right, yes. That's all generic quests done. Valley of Emperor, oh my God. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> Did not appear to be a bridge there. Like I would have thought. I guess we all have the chosen one. Uh oh, okay. We're doing this the fucking Prince of Persia way. Maybe more the Kratos way. All right, guys, ready? Time to go enter Torba mode. <laughs> uh, there we are. Melia. That Rock. is a big ball of something. <laughs> He'd look fun and sparkle. <laughs> yeah, Ricky. If also probably murder it. Not attacking us at least. Yet. Oh. What's happening? Hey, look at that. Uh oh. Another defense mechanism. And I guess we're looking at the tomb's guard. We're not getting past without a fight. Everyone, Melia needs us. We can't let this thing stop us. No problem. Time to break my record. So he's wearing a gas mask. Ah! He's got a big eyeball on his back, too. Oh, Luga Rufus! Oh, yeah, it is. It is one of those things. I can feel the power. Oh, Art of war! What did I do? I didn't even, I didn't even do anything. Ah, backslash. Don't look at me. Come at me, bitch. Can't even hit me. I'm too fast. Oh hey, whoa! Oh, he missed all of us. Ah, dead. Get your shit out of here. Anyone would think we're not wanted. Are we ever gonna find her? I think you'll find we had to take the long way because somebody pushed a certain button. Hmm. Somebody mean Ryan. Shut it, hairball. It was just a button. Relax. She will be fine. This route will lead us to the ritual altar. But time is of the essence. We've got to hurry. There's no time to lose. Okay, back across another wall. Hey, we got a heart to heart over here. You don't know what it is, though. Brian, you better watch where you're stepping. Don't worry, Shulk. I know exactly what I'm doing. Show sure about that. Uh, uh, uh. Shulk, what are you- ah! Just kill the fuck out of Ryan. <laughs> That's for pushing the fucking button, right? Tower of Trials. Tower, indeed. Alright, let's check my... 
Master, my Collectopedia. Oh yeah, I got all of them. You threw up three. What's your plus three? Need their defense up three. Well, a lot of things that are gonna help out uh, Melia. Oh, got this one too. <laughs> An item, ha 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 ha. <laughs> Ricky seemed to enjoy naming this. It's some kind of furry white creature. And I'm sticking in my journal forever. Paralysis resists three. Gush shot. Oh, all I got, got all the ones in Earth Sea, too. Oh, Mithril Armor. Crucle up two. Mithril Leggings. Ether up three. Heavy Armor. Uh, Sky Gloves. Slow three. Debuff plus two. Oh, that's everything. Oh my god. She's actually already got a gale shot. But now there's a gush shot. Oh, fuck yeah. Even more powerful. God, seriously? And it still doesn't look any different. God damn it. Oh, climbing up some more walls. Well, hello there, Oluga Rufus. The enemy's weak. But don't drop your guard. Dead. Don't mess with the best. You know, I'm just gonna leave you guys alone. How about that? Oh. Open the door, floor. Floor door. Oh. We have reached where she has where she's been. Thankfully she left the path open for us. Not today! Oh! Oh, fuck! There's the thing! Melia! So Big Daddy Telethia is home! In the tomb! <laughs> Why should you care when you're about to meet your death? Why are you still talking? Are they working together against us? All right, Millie is back. You know what that means. Get the fuck out of here, Shala. Brian, I'm switching you out with Ricky. It's time. Ah, uh, yes, we are. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna set you on fucking fire. Manifest yourselves. Manifest yourselves. Burn! I can't seem to. Oh, I can't seem to target that one for some reason. I'm just stuck focusing on this thing, okay. Now I see strength and unity. Now I see the strength and kicking ass! Ah shit! Ricky! Monster! He's like shouting a little close to the microphone, lady! Oh boom! Oh my god, he just fell on his ass! And it gets sneaky! Your fighting spirit is mine! Manifest yourself! I feel the ether! Keep on coming! Stop! 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 Alright, that's dead now for you, bitch! You'll never be Empress! You'll never be the Empress! You're not gonna be around to fucking see either, bitch! Time to die! Burn! Or electrocute one of those! Come on, buck up, show! Why the why the sad face? We're gonna kick in so much ass oh power! Days of the shit out of her. Boom. Uh. Oh my god, what's even happening? Ah! 
I'm just hearing lots of moaning. So is that Telethia working for her or something? Or was that just like... It's not over. Oh. Telethia, kill as many Don't as look at my can. face! Yeah, I guess it is. Ah! Oh! Alpha's time! Boom! That is the power of the chipmunks. <sighs> Almost bought it. Alvis, thank you. Oh, e ooh, ah, ah. Pleasure, Shulk. Why did you come? The Monado gave me a warning. That you were in danger. I'm just glad we made it. Hey, Shulk. Whoever that was is gone. So, they escaped. Shulk. Everyone. I thank you. You saved me. Ricky, smiley, smiley. Millie, all safe. All thanks to Hero Bone! <laughs> oh. That's not how I remember it, Cheese Ball. <laughs> <laughs> He's so squishy! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I just want to squeeze you all day. Huh, I think you like feeling Melly as melons. And that concludes my report on events in the tomb. Hmm. So, there are forces working in the shadows. However, this is purely circumstantial. Nothing can be proven. Hmm. Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. Dedicated and devoted to the Bionis. Bring up the first consort the thing? The was dissolved under the rule of the Emperor Lumion, 47th successor to the throne, due to its extreme practices. Like puppet masters pulling the strings from the shadows. I believe their bloodline was lost to the ages. Her Highness the First Consort is currently residing in the Tower of Investigation. The Ministry oh. of Investigation's judgment should be imminent. Oh, that may not be enough. I myself must shine a light on the truth. Agreed. Mother. Melia. Your Majesty. You have returned unharmed from the tomb. The forefathers have spoken. But if it hadn't been for Shulk... Callion has informed me of what happened. There is no reason to doubt your legitimacy to the throne. Believe in yourself, Crown Princess. Brother. Tomorrow will be the investiture ceremony. At the appointed time, you will become my successor. Be proud. I... I will. All right. Maya, my child, I am overjoyed at how far you have come. You are truly worthy of the throne. Continue the legacy of your High Entia and Harm's bloodline. You are the hope of Bionis. Ah, you know, you guys actually told me apparently the uh, the father there was in the Japanese version, actually voiced by the guy who did Aizen. <laughs> really? Wow, that would definitely want to give me a different mood. Soka. <laughs> Did you really think I was your father, foolish girl? Your becoming the Empress was all part of my plan. <laughs> I'm <been> like, ah! <laughs> oh, Ricky and friends help save Melly. Ricky very happy. We're all relieved. But something's still bothering me. What is it? Why was Melia chosen as the Crown Princess? Shouldn't Callion have been the one to ascend? And her foe in the tomb can yeah. oppose that decision. You have a point. Callion is more than a worthy candidate. What reason could they have for choosing Melia? And why would Callion go along with this? It's a mystery. Yeah, because, I mean, he's clearly the older one, right? Um, It would seem like in, in situations of multiple children be the the oldest one to uh would be the next to to rise up i mean he, he told he told uh melia in conf confidence that you know he felt that she was going to be the better choice for this um i guess maybe he just either has no interest himself or just believes that she'd she be a better leader than he was our 
apologies. His Majesty the Emperor summons you. Finally! It's gonna let us into Prison Island. Yeah. His Majesty awaits you in the audience chamber. He asks that you join him shortly. So don't dick around with fucking side quest. <laughs> oh, and I'm back to Nikki! Woo! <laughs> Actually, I think this is the the combination of people that you guys said were like the, like is one of the most popular was uh, Shulk, Ricky, and Dunban. Huh? I wonder why that is. They just have, I guess they just must have really good synergy. God, Melly, will you stop leaving my party every two seconds? Can I finally head over? I can finally head over there now. Maybe I can cover this the rest of this map. Oh! Ah! Get out of my way! Yes. Please forgive me for keeping you. Only Shulk may proceed beyond this point. Oh. Ha! Huh. Sucks to be you guys. Unfortunately, you're not the chosen one. Hiya, Shulk, folks. Forgive us for detaining you earlier. You and I are not of the same people. But this I must say. Thank you for helping Melia Antiqua, my daughter. <laughs> well, that's some weird ch jumps in volume there. <laughs> it was like really loud and then it got really quiet. It was no small feat. Not at all. I too must apologize for meddling in your customs. We should not have interfered. She is a lucky girl to have met such unselfish people. In the times to come, a ruler will need support from individuals like you. I hear you seek the Mekon. Yes. The Mekon devastated our homes, and we lost many loved ones. Revenge is your goal? It is. You are honest. I do not want to hide our true intentions. Our very existence is at stake. Unwavering, too. Shulk, you are the master of the Monado. But there is something that must be said. What is it? Long before our forefathers built this empire, two titans, the Bionis and the Makonis, fought a vicious battle. Is this known among Homs? Yes. It is told to us as children. The two fought and died killing many creatures in the process. Their remains became our worlds, bringing forth new life on Bionis. That's how we were made. But I wonder, is there, is there like the land Bionis. somewhere else, you know? Aside from on the Bionis, there's just endless ocean. They said they killed countless creatures, so I guess there had to be, right? This shall awaken once again. Alvis told me the same thing. This is not just the vision of a seer. All of Machna knows. The Telethia are as old as the Bionis itself, and now they disturb the ether. That disturbance can only lead to one thing. Uh, but why is this happening now? This is an inscription left by our forefathers. It is written, Descendants of Antiqua, when the ether cries, the Bionis awakes. Mistake not the signs. And heed the sword's return, trap its power, and assure eternal prosperity. Uh. All life born on Bionis affects the ether. The Mekon's assault is just the beginning. And these events were set in motion when you used the sword against them. We used it because we... Because you needed to. Without it, you could not survive. I cannot dispute this fact. I believe the inscription speaks of these very events with the Mekon. But if their assault continues, if more lives are lost, soon the Bionis will awake. And not only the Hyentia, but all life will perish. Do you see, Shulk? You're talking about total extinction. Correct. Which is why the Mekon's invasion must be stopped. Then you'll help us. Your Majesty, we need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Will you permit us entry? What will you do there? Kick ass! I saw it in a vision. We will fight a faced Mekon. They must pay for what they did. Then you will have seen him too. <sighs> On Prison Island, our forefathers sealed yeah. him away, just as they did to the Monado. All records have been lost, and there is now no way to know what it was. Is it connected to the awakening of the Bionis? It's a I big, huge know, thing, right? But our forefathers must have had good reason. We must trust their decision. <sighs> Shulk, 
allow me some time to deliberate. Above all else, I will consider the safety of Bionis. Bitch, I've seen your future and now you're gonna say yes! Just fucking do it! In fact, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be there with us, which... Honestly, I, I... Seeing as he's the Emperor, right? And we talk about, like, it sounds like the Emperor gets killed at some point. I really should tell him to stay home. You are our Bionis brethren. We will not ignore your plight. I... understand. This is not our homeland. If you decide not to let us go, I will accept your decision. I am sorry. It's... okay. You'll just One be fucking thing. our entire yes. race. I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector. But I would be honored if you would be her friend. This is my humble request. It would be my honor. I'll do you one even better, man. I'll be her lover. No! <laughs> Aw. Please! We all know she's best girl. So far, at least. The Telethia are on the move. Uh. Yes. That fleshy fool will go for the Monado. What of the faces? Repairs to metal are complete. And Nemesis? Nemesis is... The Homs with the Monado. He has reached Erith Sea. Yes. And there is only one place for them to go. Yet he will not dare unleash such power. <laughs> mm. No matter. Bugs must still be exterminated. It is time to test our new toy. Oh. Is that at the top Commence dog? the assault on Bionis. Whoa. Ah! Oh! <laughs> and so it ends! But it's too early to end this episode. Ooh. That might make a glimpse of the, the top dog there. I don't think we've seen him before. He got a big old tail! One month ago. Alvis, what you doing there? Are we showing him this same vision? Can this be true? It will happen soon. I saw Melia. She was fighting a battle against a Mekon with a strange group of arms. Huh. Yes. That sword, could it be the... Could it possibly? And that location, was it... The vision is a sign. By your will, it can be changed. Hmm. For now, we must consider all things. Everything. The capital. And the lives of our people depend on it. I see. So he's he's known about this for a while. He already sort of sees, if I choose to do this, this is what's going to happen. Wow. It's more than likely. Look at that. A high end to air show. <laughs> fly higher than up on birds. <laughs> <laughs> they got some neat tricks. Yeah, well. Shook, I think that's Melia up there. She gonna sing us a song? Hello, everybody! All enjoy the show! By the authority of our divine ancestors, I, Melia Antiqua, am honored to accept the responsibility of becoming your next benevolent ruler. Should I be deemed unworthy of this calling, or fail to protect the ancestors or the Bionis, we will I all die. Here and now, to throw myself on the mercy of you, the people. I promise you may execute the fuck out of me. It's fire. 
Those fireworks are destroy Most majestic. are killing the emulator. The fragile girl in the forest is a distant memory. But which one is the real Melia? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. Yeah. No, it's not like that. They're one and the same girl. I think. <laughs> he, he says so confidently that I think. <laughs> Maybe. Actually, I have no idea. <laughs> I was talking out my ass. Uh oh. And what did you see, Alvis? Oh, it's you. Don't play games. No need to be angry. I only wanted to analyze the boy. Which was the point, no? Hmm. I did not interfere with your ministerial affairs. In fact, you should be thanking me. I wonder if he feels the same. We have all the information we need. We know that such a telethia cannot hurt them. You see? Nothing can befall him before he sees his dream fulfilled. Oh no! He is getting to be an evil after all, isn't he? Oh, I had a sick and feeling. I was like, ooh. I don't know. I was just kind of waiting for it. I was waiting for that backstab. Brand spanking you. Ah, it seems like he... Like they're trying to make sure that I actually do what I'm intended to do. But I think it's for their own benefit, not for the benefit of everybody else, right? Maybe they're hoping to rise to power once the, the mech on have been dealt with or something. I can eat the change and a new paint job. <laughs> we don't need her. Look at me. Look at me, goody two-shoes. Let's just see if you hold back the screams when his blade gets a taste of you. So that's the that's the new one, right? Yeah, they just made. <laughs> I love a warm welcome. Let's settle this machine to machine. So they've got a new crown princess. Three cheers for Melia. Right, but we're still no closer to that murdering faced Mechon. Once we reach Prison Island, we'll get our chance. I've seen us there. It must be true. Shulk, man. Maybe we can still persuade Big Wings. Melia's crown princess now. I reckon the Emperor might change his mind. Maybe. Rhine, the Emperor's request was clear. Give him time. There's more to this island than we know. Things are at play here that reach beyond our understanding. Dundon right. Ricky and friends visit Melly now. Hey, the adults are talking, Pops. Ricky <laughs> want to see Melly. Rick. I think the guy that little back was there, right? <laughs> He's older than we are. He think Melly's sad too. She might like the distraction. All those stiff ceremonial duties. You decide, Shulk. Ricky say yes. Ah, uh, well, if Ricky say to do it, then we're fucking doing it. That's right, because Ricky is a true men character. We gotta go on adventure. I go to Big Pointy Flag. Hello there. Don't mind me, just grabbing the heart to heart. Shulk and Melia. It's where they will make sweet, sexy love right in front of her father. Speak. Speak. Permit me time to consider your quest guarding Prison Island. So you've seen visions of this matter, I... Forgive me. I require more time. Good day. I am grateful to you for saving my younger sister. I hope she can relax and calm down, as Dunfan suggested. Hello! I miss Evil Pan, Slurithia. Hee hee hee! Hee hee! Woo! <laughs> oh, sorry, I just thought of something quite hilarious. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Dear arms, I trust everything is to your satisfaction. My name is Lurithia. I serve as a minister here in Alcamoth. <laughs> You're just what I expected from he who wields the Monado. Oh, you my thanks for returning Lady Melia to us in one piece. 
<laughs> it is such relief. Oh, <laughs> I just can't hide my evil laughter. You're not even trying. Gosh, really? But oh my, we're going to Melia's dressing room. Oh, hey. Revelation Hall. Oh, I've had a revelation. I'm jumping. <laughs> that would be a mistake. Hello, people of Aklamoth. It is me, King Ricky. Eh, uh, catch me. <laughs> Ricky, don't do it. Don't worry, my people will catch me. Uh, farewell, friends. Ricky, it up. Oh. Finish fight. Oh, Ricky, you silly bugger. Why, Ricky, only one dead? Because we've got plot armor. <laughs> Sorry, you're too, you're just a side character, Ricky. Oh, Ricky's sad now. Sky Terrace. Have you, they've got another another terrace. Oh my! Oh my God! I'm way higher. Holy! Sh Wait, what? So that, I didn't. Oh man, that just discombobulated the fuck out of me. I thought I thought when I took that teleporter, it took me up higher, but it actually took me lower. Oh, Ryan and Melia. This is where, yes, right, Ryan and Melia, the ultimate ship. <laughs> this is where they they do the dirty. <laughs> right up here, on this. Uh, oh my! Wow. Guys, you think I can survive this jump? All right, don't worry, guys, Ricky, we'll do it this time. Oh, for God's sakes, Ricky. Here I go. I fly. Ah! <laughs> okay, maybe not. Ricky, will you stop killing yourself? What we got going on over here? Uh, Melly, Melly have a really fancy bedroom. Oh, she even got her own little inner garden there, too. That's cool. I, I like how you actually see like all the landmarks from up here and Prison Island. And on this side, we've got some rather nasty looking textures. The Imperial Villa. All right, did that? Oh, yep, that was the last thing. And now my map of Alchemoth is complete. You came to see me. Ricky's friend, Melly. Oh, Melly look amazing before. Oh, Ricky's so proud. Oh. Really? It all happened so fast. What a stunning garden. The arrangements, the fountain. When the colony is up and running, can I steal some ideas? That's all right. My late mother adored this place. Late, mother. But I thought your mum was... Her Highness, the First Consort, is not my birth mother. Members of the Imperial family must take two wives. One Homs, one High Entia. My mother is the Second Consort. I am half Homs, half High Entia. Oh, I just realized her hat's actually off. <laughs> to me, I was like, oh, right. Thought it'd be like a dramatic thing. Melia. Melia live here? And I was yes, right. Ricky. Since I was young. I cannot walk outside as you see me now, so this garden gives me much relief. What's wrong with how you look? Who cares if you're half arms? You'll always be you. Oh. Their way of thinking differs from ours. Different ways. Different morals. Oh. So okay. So that's why you wear a mask in public. Yes. Shulk. In less than an hour, there will be a banquet in the palace. I would like you all to come. Oh, Ricky's so hungry, he could even eat Smelly or Luca. <laughs> There'll be plenty to eat. Finally, some decent grub. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. What's on the menu? Any high end your specials? Do not embarrass me at this dinner. For the love of God, Ryan! God damn it, I swear to God! <laughs> I'm, in the I'm in the feeling Charlotte and Ryan are going to be doing the dirty by the end of this. Ah, well then, okay. If that's the case, Ryan's got Charlotte. Shulk's got, got Melia. Ricky already has his wife. What about Daddy Dunban, though? Where's his loving? Daddy Dunban isn't held down by any single woman. Forever a bachelor, for I am a daddy to everyone. The expectations lead to disappointment. We are talking about Ryan here. What? That's the last time I sit next to you, then. <laughs> <laughs> I have much to prepare. I will have someone call for you later. We can't wait. 
Is there something wrong? <laughs> eh. No. You are a funny one. Uh, I can see your future. I can see your sweet, sexy love making. Oh boy. Uh, Emperor! Yeah. God, that guy was fucking up all of our friends. Jeez. It can't be. Shulk, it's the Emperor. Father. Another vision. Shulk, what did you see? On that tower. On Prison Island. <sighs> oh dear. What does the siren mean? Mechon, they're coming. <sighs> They are coming. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow, okay. You never stop me now. <laughs> Report! Yes, sire. We received a report from our south station. Mekon are approaching. Impossible! Kellyan, your sister's time has come. Your Majesty. There is only one course of action left. We will not waver from our destinies. Father! Kallion, take charge of the capital's defenses. I will go to Prison Island. No, dude, don't do it! Stay at home! We're fine, we... Actually, no, he... Tell me. We saw in the vision, he's, he's doing something to go there and unlock it for them, right? So, he, yeah, he kind of has to be there, I guess. What happens to my father? He... It follows my last vision. We're on Prison Island. Metal Face and your father are... Prison Island? Why would father go there? No! I must go to the palace. I must stop him. I will go to the audience chamber. Wait, Melia. We're coming too. Oh, enough going off by yourself, girl. Get your ass in this party. Oh, well, we're dealing with Mechon, so I, I'm pretty sure I think I want to keep Shulk in here. So, another heart to heart, which uh, I don't know. Is there actually a bed in here for you to sleep in? I just, <laughs> I just lie down in the water and pray I don't drown. Brother, where is father? Melia. The Imperial Staff, it's... So father has gone. I... Kallion! The Emperor has proceeded to the island, alone, for the sake of the Empire. Why did you let him go alone? Father! His Majesty is fully aware... Alvis... ...of what will happen to him, and what he must do before then. You saw something. I did, during our ancient divination ritual. If he knows, then why? Because he is the ruler of the Imperial family and all the High Entia, we must respect his decision above all else. But that doesn't mean... Trust him, Shulk. His fate was decided long ago. No! Fuck fate! Shulk, we're going. But Dunban... Respect? Destiny? We don't need rules to tell us when to save the people we care for. You too, Melia. Don't give up on him. The Emperor, your father, is going to die. Goddamn Dumban, you're so fucking awesome. Dumban! There's only one thing to do. Are you with me? Of course. But you can't. We are Homs. Do what you must. But your laws don't concern us. My apologies, Dunban. No apologies needed. So, Melia, what's it to be? We go to Prison Island. 
Dumbman really is the Orin of this game. <laughs> or the real main character of this game, seriously. Doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Your customs can suck my eight foot dick. I appreciate Dunban's quick, quick thinking. His Majesty departed for Prince P Prison Island Lalo. Please, must help His Majesty, my father. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm busy just laughing evilly still. His Majesty's departed for Prison Island. He's so brave. Snow, you build a protector. Uh, probably. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, I can't teleport, which means more things are going to happen as I walk out of here. Oh, hey, Starlight Kick. She hasn't learned that yet. Yes, she has. Oh, she has a topple move. A devastating kick, physical close combat attack. After spear break, forces topple. Okay, no another forces uh, move. I don't know, though. I mean, I really... We have other people that can do this stuff. I, I really think it's probably best just to focus on her magic skills here and keep the topple into the other party members here. Hey, we got a quest over here. Telon! What could they be? Textbook doesn't have it many details at all. Hey, could you help me with something? My girl wanted to become a scientist. Right now I'm trying to pick, find out about this particular bug. It's really cool. I assume for the expression this matter bothers them. Something the matter. We, we can help you. But then after they hatch, they glow for a little bit. But I've only seen pictures of it in my textbook. So I want to see if for at least once for real. A glowing insect. The only species I know like that would be the gold caterpillar. Could that be what you're after? Oh, I've got a fucking million of those. Yeah, that's it. A gold caterpillar. It happens to lower by honest, but I have no idea where. They might know because you're all homs and all. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had to collect nine of them, though. I I think I, I think the check mark means I've actually already got it, though. Thanks. I heard that they really like dark and damp places. My stupid textbook just says they're lower by honest. Rest assured, we will do the thing. Okay, well, no, I guess I don't. God damn, seriously, nine of them? That's fucking absurd. Why do I need nine? You just want to see one. Hey, I've hit level two there, too. All right. And upper bonus, that means me to at least level two everywhere, excluding what will likely be one more place right here. Oh, yes. Popipo. It's like Popipo said no one to go outside. Ask why, but he has no answer. Just shiver and qu shiver and shake. What is happening? He just go up and every day find new tricky place to hide. I want him to have fun outside. Now stay in dark place. Talk to Bara Baroba. You're all nice people. I am all oh, smiling smiles. But I'm a little pump Baroba. I know not what's wrong with him. And will you ask Baroba? Okay. <laughs> oh, what was that? Did you guys see that? It's like. I'll help too if you don't mind. No, I, I I don't mind at all. Oh my god, a stumbling over her words. Shulk is totally going for her. Reason why Baroba not go out? Simple. We walk outside, end up getting quick grab, cuddle, lift, Baroba up. Baroba not like when that happens. Baroba smell bad. Maybe maybe that's no problem. Well, friends break spilly thing. Uh, okay, I got it. Ether Rose. Friends break sticky thing. Give it to our robot. Give it up. Be you. Smell worse than imagine. It's perfect. Thank you, Hom Hom people. Oh, thank God, these are close to each other. Because they're help the robot run us, run us. I like good no point. Big thank you. There's only a little, but please take it. See, Barabba's face happy again. All thanks to you. Only boss look as you helped. All right, cool. Paralysis resist three. Close family. Okay. This other one bothers them. With Nello. Nello! Yes! Oh, Pico is part of my family, so we came together here. I raised Baroba on own after Hubby Pun died. Pico thought it might be tough on me, so Pico came here to help too. <laughs> Spider's web! Building those connections. Normal family. Even though we worry no more, I'm very happy friends came. So I'm grateful to be helping Baroba. Ba -ba -ba. Boom! Lies and expectation is beginning to bug me. <laughs> Unmanned craft built by ancient Hyentia. Is it too much to hope this is the last of them? Huh, a female. Okay. Ginormous! Kings at 12 o'clock! Whoa! Ancient creatures that were sealed within Prison Island. They have us in their sights. 
They must be our target's pets. Perhaps. Let's see how they like this. Whoa! Ow! That seemed pretty effective, didn't it? Prison Island is just ahead. Do we need to use the transporter? We do. But first, we must unlock the seals. Ah. Uh. Seals? We need to unlock two seals to reach Prison Island. Then, a door will appear before us, showing the way. Got it. Move, everyone. Yeah, I think I've already come across both of them, so... I kind of figured. From the Sister Gates, Katoral and Sol Sultnar. Saltnar! Yep, and I've already got their waypoints, which will make us nice and easy. Subterranean Zomar! Ractolexos. I'm just gonna walk around you, how about that? Ow! <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Hi, Princess! Hi there! Hello! Having a good day! Glad to hear! Excuse me, don't mind me! <laughs> <laughs> just walk right around them! What are we doing here again? Okay, that's one down. Doop do doop do do. Man, what if I'm ever gonna get a chance to use this sweet fucking dual saber? Oh well. We got like a dream, right? Oh hey, she's running around without her uh uh her hat on her head. Yay! Good for her. But that doesn't mean she needs a new hat. Good, don't cover up those pretty wings. I look like a Valkyrie now. Oh, that's guy not letting us pass letting us pass, apparently. Yeah, that guy's not gonna be happy to see us. Let's try wind! Raging Squall! We can definitely do this! Ow! Boom! Alright. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. Alright, numero dos. All right, time to open the door. Release. Oh. Mechon, and something we've never seen before. Big fish coming. Holy shit, what is that? Wait, wasn't that the thing that was attacking them? Where are the good guys, you dick, Skyrite? Oh, oh my god! So this is the legendary Boom! Dance with me! Yeah, it's on your feet, bitch. Boom! Leave it to me! Backslash! Don't Leave it to me! Do your flash! Timing is everything! Remember that! We did it! <laughs> Was that a little too much? Summon! Copy! Do your flash! Take your edge! Electric gun buster! Boom. Boom. 
Can anyone explain what this thing is? I believe it is one of the oldest creatures on Bionis. I have only seen them as fossils, discovered around the capital. To find that they were trapped on Prison Island. Was it protecting the island? That would imply it's sentient. I believe it's responding to something primitive. Primitive? It doesn't care who or what we are. Its instinct hmm. was to defend against anything. But we'll ah. never really know. We're losing time here. We still haven't reached the island. Ricky, go to island! <laughs> Alright guys, well... I think this is probably a good place to end things here for now, but next episode we're gonna go to Prison Island in the fear of the fucking future! Seems like shit is really gonna go down though when we get there. Like, it seems like a big turning point, so I'm excited. I can't wait to see what happens. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe if you're not already going Picky Penguin. Or the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!